I'm going to show you how you can embed charts of Airtable records on your website. I'll be using this tool by me extensions.com. So the chart itself is actually embedded right here onto this page. So what you're seeing here are a bunch of Airtable records that are graphed onto this chart. And this data comes straight from Airtable and the records shown there are actually right here. So these are the total costs that you're seeing in that chart. And yeah, the idea is, you know, you have some, some data that makes sense to visualize and you want to put it on your website and you always want it to be up to date. So, you know, KPIs or something like that. And we support both bar charts and line charts. So now I'm going to show you how you would set this up. Start by filling in your API key, follow the blue URL to find that, then select your base and select your table. If you only want a subset of your records to show up on the graph, select an Airtable view to filter the other records. Then select the type of chart you'd like. So let's start with a bar chart here and then select the x-axis, so what field you want to be represented on the x-axis, and then what field you want represented on the y-axis. And then if you'd like to resize it, you can do that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Save, and then I'll go ahead and open this share URL. So this is the chart. This data is coming straight from this table. Um, and yeah, so now let me show you what it would look like if we had a line chart instead. So let's update this to a line chart. Click save and refresh this page. There you go. So I want to demonstrate what I mean when I say this is coming straight from my air table. So if I were to change this to a 200, right? Then I wait for it to save and then I go there and refresh. Immediately I'll see that change, right? So I'll see the 200 here. So that's the nice part. You never have to worry about the chart. It kind of just updates itself on its own. Now, if you noticed what I've demonstrated here is a share URL. This is if you want to give people a URL so that they can, you know, visit just a unique URL where they can see that chart. But the intention here is also to be able to embed it on your website. If you want to embed it on your website, you click on embed, and then you want to click here to copy the embed code and this, and then put it on your website.